What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto for You. What's happening in the Bitcoin price is crazy. The question is, is the bull market already here? That's what I want to talk about today because if you guys saw the Bitcoin charts, you can see that it's just skyrocketing to the moon. It's already risen like 34%. And so let's just quickly just go into the charts. As you can see, this is Bitcoin right over here. You can see it's rising all the way up. You can see if we go on the daily time frame that it has done this in three quick days. It's just like a rocket flying up. Here's the cool thing. It has broken the previous higher high that we had over here. The previous higher high was at $25,000 and we rose all the way up to $26,600. This means that we created a higher high, which is a bullish sign. Another cool bullish thing is that we're doing an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Right over here, we have the shoulder, we have the head, and we have the other shoulder. Now, this is a bull pattern that can break us all the way up to approximately $35,000, which would be a rise up to $38%. That's a pretty big trade, to be honest. Now... If you guys think that we are not falling down, watch this. We have a huge support right over here at the 200 week moving average. Now, the 200 week moving average is interesting because it usually tells us when we're in a bull market or when we're in a bear market. It acts like a major resistance when we're in a bear market, like over here or right over here. But when we break it to the upside, it now starts acting as support. And it's a very good place for Bitcoin to rest or fall, fall down to when it rises a ton. So right now, if we manage to close this candle on the weekly time frame and confirm support and start rising up, well, this could be a sign that we're in a bull market. The problem is that this candle that we made closes in five days and we rose so much that we probably do need a pull back. Now, Here's the reason why crypto is rising so, so fast. It's not just because of the technical aspect, but that is true. Because of all those technical things, I believe that we're in a bull market. But it's also because of something in the real world. As you probably heard from different YouTubers, the FDIC and the federal government have barely, and I mean barely avoided a huge bank crisis. And I want to talk to you guys about it. As you guys probably heard, the Silicon Valley Bank, one of the biggest tech startup banks, has been closed with a bank run. If you guys know how banks work, it's called fractional reserve lending. So that right there can cause banks, and they legally do this, they can legally take 90% of your deposits and loan it out or, or use it for their own personal, well, not personal, for their own company's profit by investing into different stocks or loaning it out for more people. Now, they can do this to everyone, and that's what they all banks do. The problem is, if there's a ton of people coming in at the same time to withdraw their money, they don't have enough cash on hand to give it back. But how banks solve this issue is they make more people come in than there are people coming out. So those people, they take their cash and they give it to the other person. Now, what Silicon Valley Bank did is they took a large portion of the people's money that they took out using fractional reserve lending and they put it into a long-term locked stock that bet that the interest rate would not go up till like 2024. Now, guess what happened? The interest rates rose. The Fed raised them, and so they started losing money. They lost about $2 billion out of their, I believe, $21 billion investment. Now, when startups heard this, they really just got scared, and they just started running away. And they tried taking their money out. Now, since all those people tried taking their money out while their money was in a stock locked position, they couldn't pay everybody out and they had to close using something called a bank run. They ran. Now, the FDIC take took over. The FDIC has a policy that basically means if a bank gets closed or 
runs or something happens to it, like getting bankrupt, they can give back up to $250,000, which usually covers a regular person. The problem is Silicon Valley Bank is not a regular person's bank. It's a tech startups bank. And those tech startups usually have more than $250,000. And actually, 97% of tech startups in that Silicon Valley Bank had more than $250,000, so they wouldn't be getting all their money back. And that caused a ton of anxiety, which caused two more banks to close, First Republic and Silvergate. Now, this was going to go all over. People were going to get anxious and all this. But guess what the FDIC did? The only way to stop this was by telling everybody to be calm and give you back the money. So that's what they did. They did something called a bailout. They basically gave all the money back to the people who were more than $250,000. They So nobody lost money. That was the only way they could ensure that people would not just start the entire Great Depression that happened in 1929. But guess what? Crypto was rising this whole entire time. Why? Well, because crypto is a decentralized currency. It's a basically created to you to be the bank. No one controls it. No bank, bank owns it. It's just in the internet. Now, it also is trustless. You don't need to trust it. Everything is proofed. Everything is open sourced. Everything's transparent. There's nothing hiding. There's no one taking like money away from you. And basically, it's a better bank. And that's the reason crypto is right now rising. It's the future. It's something that's honestly more secure than banks because banks can take 90% of your money and then guess what happens? Like Silicon Valley. Basically, that's what happened. People got anxious and they went to something else. They took their money out of the banks. So because crypto is the future, people started investing it. And when people will realize this, that's when it's gonna start rising up now for now we can see that we're at about twenty thousand dollars still twenty five thousand dollars but with people in the real world understanding how cool crypto is and with all these indicators and technical analysis we could probably say that the fdic started this pump and we are pumping to new all-time highs because of this trading pattern. Now, for now, that is all I want to talk about in this video. What do you guys think? Do you think the Bitcoin bull market has started or should we dump some more? Because me personally, I think we are almost done with the Bitcoin bear market. The bull market should start soon. I've actually been talking about this for a while. For now, that's all I want to talk about. If you did like this video, leave a like down below. Come on, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that post notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.